Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, just to focus on the smaller time frame here in this video, another good day for cryptos. Bitcoin still pushing higher, not unexpected. The price is currently still um, above our trend line. So if you watched the previous video, then you will already uh, know about this trend line that we've been tracking here. The price is still holding above this trend line. I can just slightly adjust it, but perfectly held the um, support here. And um, after my last video, I already communicated on our Discord server that likely the price is gonna form another swing high and we're gonna hit 100K in this third wave that I've been tracking. So we'll see, it seems to be going that way anyway. Um, why did I communicate that? Well, because based on the microstructure, um, and that three wave pullback here, it seemed likely that we are getting one more high just based on the microstructure, right? And it just didn't look full yet. The micro, talking just about this wave C in wave three, then we could still get another wave four and another wave five. So that's how we track this extension to the upside, which at the moment has reached my target zone. And uh, as I mentioned to you a few days ago, like 97,350 was sort of the next target. We've reached that and then looking at the chart again, it seems like we want to push even higher. So that was one of the updates that I posted after my last video. So if you want to stay up to date in this volatile period, uh, just check out our gold membership. You can find a link in the video description or you just head over to our channel page. There is a description, a video description about what the membership includes. There are also some member only videos that you can access on YouTube or on Discord when, I, when you're a Discord member. Uh, today, for example, I updated Arbitrum and Floki. But yeah, check it out. It's I think it can be quite helpful. Um, you can cancel every month. So if you don't like it, but that was the idea, right? So that was the micro count I provided like three hours ago uh, with a fourth wave pullback and then possibly the outlook for one more high. And the communication around it was that on the micro level, it appears there's room for at least one more wave up in this wave C of three, a break below 94,530. And we haven't broken that would indicate a potential top in that C wave. The third wave to the upside seems to be po seems poised to reach 100K or higher. So are we gonna see 100K today? We'll see, we obviously, you know, the air is getting thinner up there, but the trend is still up. The trend is still up and a break above the, I mean, and this was the next FIB level. There is no other FIB level, at least not any FIB level that I'm tracking until we get to 100K. So seems like in you know, this breakout, and you, it might've happened already when you watched the video, um, this break above 98,300, which might happen next, could send us to 100,330 next. So that's the next target, yeah? 100, but that level is already on the chart. So you've got it. I can now remove the level that was already broken because we don't need it anymore. I can add the next one because you don't know, you know, we don't know how far this extends. Obviously, when we hit 100K, if we hit it, looks like it at the moment, especially as long as we're holding above the trend line. Well then we should still get another wave four and we should still get another wave five. So this should take us above 100K. That's that's the idea, right? Um, that's all in line with previous updates in which I highlighted to you that the bigger picture, larger degree move should take us to 130K in the next few weeks, months. And we might then see a major, major top, I'm talking about a more substantial top in Q1. Mm, so the idea is we push a bit higher, ideally, okay? Okay, if, if we cannot break above the intraday high, then wave four might already be unfolding, but the support area is clear. So as always, the levels are more important than the micro count. Just pay attention here to the trend line first. I think any sustained break below the trend line now, especially a break, uh, if it includes also a break below the swing low here at 95,550, could indicate that this fourth at least has started. Then we watch the Fibonacci support area, 92,291 shouldn't be broken. Well, if it does, then it should begin the top confirmation process in this rally, which is already very extended. So what are we talking about? We're talking about an uptrend that's still extending, but fulfilled all requirements. So we have to be ready for that wave four pullback, but it hasn't started yet. And if we break below that, then this larger wave four, for which I will have to adjust the support region here based on the latest high. So overall looks still good. Yeah, still an active uptrend. I'm gonna track the extensions until we get exhausted here. 
and I'll keep you updated. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.